This problem says to find all of the angles which satisfy the given equation, sine of theta is equal to one half. I like to do a problem like this using the unit circle. Keep in mind that on the unit circle, the sine of any angle is equal to the y coordinate on the unit circle. So if we know, since we know that the sine of the angle is equal to the y coordinate on the unit circle, we can go around the unit circle and find everywhere where the y coordinate is equal to one half. So here's one example that the y coordinate is equal to one half at a um, at an angle of pi over six or thirty degrees. I'll do both radians and degrees. So it's either pi over six or thirty degrees. And let's keep going around until we find another one half on the y. Here's another one half on the y coordinate. So that would be 5 pi over 6 for radians or 150 degrees for, excuse me, 150, yeah, 4 degrees. If we keep going around, here we have a y coordinate of negative one half, but that's not the same thing as positive one half, so keep going. And same thing here, we have another negative one half, but that's not a positive one half. So what this tells us is that all of the angles that satisfy this equation, at least on the unit circle, which is from zero to two pi radians, or from zero to 360 degrees, that these are our solutions. But in order to find all of the equations, not just the ones on the unit circle domain, we can take our original answers, our pi over six, and keep in mind that if we, if we go all the way around our unit circle and back to our original answer, that we're back to the same point on the unit circle, but we've added a full rotation of our, of our angle. So a full rotation in radians is two pi radians. So we can add two pi and that would be the next, adding just two pi would be just the next solution. But we can go around as many times as we want. So in order to, to account for going around as many times as we want, let's add a k, where k represents um, any integer. So k is an integer. And that k represents the number of times that we would go around the unit circle. We can do the same thing with 5 pi over 6. It could also be plus 2 pi k. So this would be our answer if we are wanting our answer in, a, a, in radians. But if we want our answer in degrees, we would start with our two solutions, the 30 degrees. But now we could also go all the way around. If we're in degrees, going all the way around is 360 degrees. So instead of adding 2 pi k, we add 360 k. Because that every time we go back around, it's another 360 degrees. And same idea for 150 plus 360 k. So if we're looking for an answer in radians, it would be this one. And if we're looking for an answer in degrees, it would be this one. So I hope this video step by solution, step by step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and share with anybody who you think might find this information useful. Also, I have information in the description about where you can contact me if you need tutoring or if you um, would like to support my, my project of making homework help solutions available for anybody who needs them. Thanks for watching.